Hello everyone. This is the sixth video in the series of the videos we are discussing about the decimal number representation. The previous videos we had discussed about what is decimal number representation and how do we convert fractions into the decimals. We talked about the tenths and the hundredth fractions and how to represent them in the decimals and other examples. So in this video we will be talking about how do we convert the decimals back to fractions. So let's take the first example. Here it is 0 0.6. Now to convert back to fraction. Now this 0 0.6 actually means that there is a number one tenth number after uh, dot that is uh, 6. So this becomes 6 by 10. You already have learnt how to convert this. You can visit the previous videos if you have any problem in trying and representing this. But the main point is we have to reduce this fraction to the lowest form. So then this becomes 6 by 10. This becomes actually 2 5 is a 10 and 2 3 is a 6. 2 3 is a 6. So this becomes 3 by 5. I cannot further reduce this fraction. So 3 by 5 is the lowest term in which I can represent this fraction. Let's see the next one. 2.5. This is only one tenth place after only one tenth place after the decimal. So this becomes 25 by 10. Let's try and reduce this. So this becomes 5 2 is a 10. 5 5 is the 25. So this value becomes the lowest form of this decimal in fraction. The third one is 1 1.0 and the same can be represented as 10 by 10 and this is like 1. So this is how we convert the decimal to a fraction. Let's try and take some more problems. 0 0.60. So 0 0.60, I can, if, if you see that after the decimal, I have two values. This represents the one tenth value and this represents the one hundredth value. So to write this number, I have to say it's like 60 divided by 100, one hundredth value. And this becomes, you can say I have divided first by, sorry. I divide it first by 10 and try to get 6 here and 10 here which gives me 6 by 10. Again, I further can divide this. So this gives me 3, 2, 3 is a 6 and 2, 5 is a 10. It gives me a value of 3 by 5. If you notice, that this 3 by 5 we have seen in the earlier slide also is represented by 0 0.6 and we tried and converted back to 3 by 5. If you notice this very simple thing that 3 by 5 is the answer for 0 0.6 also and for 0 0.60 also that means can I say that if I have something as 0 0.6 then it's more or less same as what I am writing is 0 0.60 or maybe 0 0.600 so that means if I go on adding any zeros after the number but there does not follow a number here on the right hand side then this actually means I'm trying to represent 0 0.6 only let's try and see the next problem 0 0.05 0 0.05 I am representing as is 1 tenth and 1 hundredth place. I have to represent this as 0 0.5 divided by 100 which is 5 divided by 100 and 5 ones are 5, 5 25. So 1 by 25 is the lowest term in which I can represent this number. Uh, I'm sorry, it's 5 and the 5, 5 20 the 
So this becomes 1 by 20. So let's try and see the next one, 0 0.75. This becomes 75 by 100. And 75 by 100, it divide by 25. So this becomes 3. 25 fours are. So I am getting 3 by 4. I cannot further reduce this. So my answer is 3 by 4. Now, one more peculiar thing if you have seen. That this 0 0.05 is 1 by 20. Let's try and see one more example of 0 0.5 0 0.5 is 5 by 10 and if I reduce this into a smaller form it is 1 by 2 1 by 2 is not same as 1 by 20 that means if I have a 0 before any number in the decimals place this is not same as 0 0.5 this actually mean this is 0 0.50 or 500 or anything but this is 0 0.05 the 5 here is in the 100th place and the 5 here is in the 10th place so that makes the difference so these two numbers are different because this is at the 100th place and this is at the 10th place but in the previous case here though I say it's 0 0.6 or 0 0.60 or 0 0.600 here 6 always remains in the 10th place and that's why these all numbers were same. I hope you have got the idea about crystal clear idea about how we are manipulating the numbers in trying to get a decimal, different types of decimal numbers and which numbers would be equal here these numbers are equal and here these numbers are not equal as they are on the different decimal or as they are on the different place value this this is on the 10th 10th and this is on the 100th thank you